Google released the Android P beta a few hours back at Google I.O. 2018, a couple of months after it released the first developer preview in March. Even though the developer preview 1 brought several features such as indoor positioning with Wi-Fi RTT, display cutout or not support, enhanced messaging experience, the latest beta, which is the developer preview 2 update, brings even more features and support for gestures. Finally. Let's take a look at the top 5 features of Android P Public Beta on Nokia 7 Plus. New System Navigation Gestures Android P finally brings system navigation gestures that can be accessed right from your home screen. This is useful for taller phones, making the one-handed usage experience comfortable. Once the navigation gestures are enabled, the traditional buttons, which are Home, Recent Apps and Back, are replaced with a small strip. With a single clean home button, you can swipe up fully to see your newly designed app drawer. Whereas you have swipe and choose the apps for multitasking. There is another feature which Google calls Quick Scrub that lets you drag the home button to the left to quickly scroll through your apps. Adaptive Brightness Google has introduced yet another feature to save battery life. In general, most of the smartphones use ambient light sensors to help adjust for brightness in different environmental settings. But with this new feature, it takes account of your environment as well as activities and it learns your personal brightness preferences over time. Instead of adjusting the brightness based on the environment, the adaptive brightness will take your preference into account and set it up accordingly. Volume Shortcut With Android P, users get a new shortcut to change the phone to mute and vibration. By enabling a gesture setting called Prevent Ringing under the setting menu, you can set the phone to either switch to vibrate or silent mode when you simultaneously press the power and volume up keys. Smart Notifications With this iteration of Android, Google has implemented an effective way of handling notifications. With this iteration of Android, Google has implemented an effective way of handling notifications with installed apps on your device. Once you get a notification, there's a new Manage Notifications button at the bottom of the Notification Shade 2, which will bring you to a list of your most recently received notifications. From there, you can turn off any of the notifications that have been disturbing you lately. Power Button Shortcut Android P also adds a couple of shortcuts to the power button, including screenshot and lockdown buttons. Since we know the functionality of screenshots, let's get to know what lockdown is. Once you turn on the Show Lockdown option, it turns off the smart lock, fingerprint unlocking and notification on the screen. The Android P beta is now available for Pixel 2, Pixel 2 XL, the original Pixel and Pixel XL smartphones, and it is also available for the Sony Xperia XZ2, Xiaomi Mi Mix 2S, Nokia 7 Plus, Oppo R15 Pro, Vivo X21 UD and X21, as well as the Essential PH1. You can get it from android.com/beta. Thanks for watching.